All right guys, so I'm here with another grocery haul and today is just a regular grocery store where I live in Virginia. It's called Martin's, part of the Giant Food Company brand of stores. Anyways guys, life has been so busy with homeschooling two kids like full time. Um, it's a lot different than homeschooling like a preschooler and a kindergartner. This year it's like first grade and kindergarten so they're both doing like schoolwork. Anyways, it's a lot more to figure out and <laughs> leave me a comment down below if you're homeschooling this year or if your kids are in public school or private school, whatever kind of school. But anyways, my life is just so much busier, so I'm trying to find out like how to work my routine and everything like that. So in the meantime, I'm just doing like grocery pickup. If you like videos like this, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps me out. And if you're not part of my YouTube family, I'd love for you to hit that red subscribe button. And guys, let's get into this grocery haul. So today I have some milk. I got the Fairlife variety because I just really enjoy it. I like that it's lactose free, that's just really nice. Two dozen eggs, one of the cartons was broken, like half of them are broken, so I had to, I have to get my money back. And then I got some lunch meat. We really enjoyed just like the fresh deli lunch meat last week. So I got some more and I got some tavern ham and some black forest turkey breast. And we had the black forest turkey breast last week and we really enjoyed it. The tavern ham sounded really good, so I thought that'd be like a good mix for a sub sandwich. I got some cheese, so I got some sharp cheddar, some Cracker Barrel Havarti, because Havarti is really good and creamy. Then they were having this deal where you get like peanut butter jelly and bread and bananas, and you get like two of them free if you get that combo. So I got some Nature's Own Butter Bread, and then I got some Martin's Fresh Baked Italian like crusty bread, because I'm gonna be making a crock pot chicken corn chowder for slow cooker Sunday this weekend, so stay tuned for that. I've been doing a new series where I do like a slow cooker recipe on Sunday. It's been really fun. So that's to go alongside of that. I'll be making that tomorrow and then sharing it on Sunday. I got some romaine hearts, a three pack of those, some bananas. For the chicken corn chowder, it has red potatoes in it. So I just got this bag of pre-washed red potatoes just to make my life easier because like I said, <laughs> my life is quite busy right now. Some onions, just two sweet onions, two Roma tomatoes. I got some avocados and then some fresh parsley that is for the corn chowder as well. And some Baby Bella mushrooms to have on hand. A cucumber, that's like the hothouse kind, which we just love. I actually did get some strawberries, they are not here sad face because they were moldy. Um, I'm wishing, you know, pickup was a little bit better where people actually look at the fruit they give you, but they were moldy, so I have to get my money back. It is the way it is, whatever. Speaking of that, I got yogurt for parfaits, and I wanted some fresh strawberries to have our parfaits with, but I'll have to go get some um, at the store myself sometime. I'll probably just run a Target. I got Stonyfield Organic Probiotic Whole Milk Strawberry Yogurt, and then also I got a Stonyfield Organic Vanilla Low Fat Yogurt. I just thought those would be really good for the parfaits with some granola, and I got granola as well. Some Log Cabin Syrup, my little one's birthday. She'll be turning seven on Saturday. She wants waffles for breakfast. I needed more syrup, so I got that. And then like I said, I got this peanut butter and jelly combo. There was like a store promo. So I got some of this Simply Jif, which has like less sugar and less salt. I've never tried this out. The one I wanted was like the natural Jif, but it was out, so they subbed this. And then this Concord grape jelly. I also got some grape juice because I was craving grape juice the other day. I haven't had grape juice in so long, so I just thought I'd get some of that. Nature's Promise, free from um, grape juice, and it's just regular grape juice free from some stuff. What is it free from? Artificial colors, artificial flavors, artificial preservatives. That's what it's free from. Um, and then I got some bacon. I got two things of this. One is for the corn chowder. It has some bacon. And then some for my daughter. She wanted bacon with the waffles on her birthday. I also got the chicken breast. This is for the corn chowder. I keep talking about it because I have so many ingredients for it in this haul. So I got a two pack of those. And then I got some Purdue 
ground turkey. This is for spaghetti coming up here. And then some Classico traditional sweet basil pasta sauce. Two of those. Um, this is like a substitution. I was trying to get a brand, the Classico four cheese, but they subbed it out with the Bertoli five cheese, which I've never tried before, so that might be good. I got some of this Cascadian Farm Organic Farmland Granola Oats and Honey. That is for the parfaits and some Tabasco. I'm gonna be making fried chicken for my daughter for her birthday dinner. Some Jiffy corn muffin mix because she wanted corn bread muffins along with her fried chicken. That sounds so Southern, doesn't it guys? And then obviously I needed some sweet corn, cream style corn for my corn chowder. I needed two cans of that. And then I got some of this classic Caesar like Newman's own dressing just for like a lighter version of Caesar dressing for myself. And some queso blanco dip, some low sodium chicken broth for the corn chowder. <laughs> feel like that is like all I'm talking about guys. And then some of this Rana family size spinach and cheese tortellini. I just thought this would be a good dinner tonight because whenever I film, I always need like a pretty quick dinner. And this is just like a really nice little vegetarian meal for like a meatless meal. And I'll probably do like a salad on the side. And then some LaCroix. I got this peach pear, which was a substitution because I was wanting the cran raspberry flavor so i've never had the peach pear before i like pear so i'm hoping it's good but let me know down below if you've tried this flavor if you like it i'll be trying it soon enough here and then last time i got like two of these amy's cheese enchilada meals these are so good guys and my little ones loved them so i got us all one this time so i got four of those I got two Tina's burritos. These are just like red hot beef burrito. And then some of these Marie Callender's chicken pot pies. And then I got a whole bunch of confectioner sugar. I needed three because last time I made my daughter's cake, I ran out of powdered sugar and I had to like stretch the frosting and it was like so hard to do. So this time I wanted to make sure I had enough powdered sugar because I'm gonna be making her a cat cake. I just wanna make sure I have enough powdered sugar. That's not happening to me again. So that's why I have three of those <laughs> bags of powdered sugar. And then speaking of her cake, I got this black decorating icing for the eyes and the mouth and everything like that because I'm gonna be doing like a 3D cat with like pointy triangle ears on top. Being part of this store, you have freebies that you can cash your points in for. Anyways, one of the freebies was a chocolate bar. So that's what that's for. Super random and it's a dark chocolate with almonds bar. It looks really good. And then last but not least guys, <laughs> this is fall vibes right here. I got some pumpkin spice limited time instant oatmeal cups. Um, this is the Martin's brand and I just thought this would be fun to try out. Probably let my kids have these actually, but these are just really good looking and sounding. Um, yeah, pumpkin spice oatmeal. What, how could you go wrong with that? And you guys know I love fall. So anyways, guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're so excited for fall because I just keep talking about it in my videos and I am like so ready for it. I am so, so ready. That is my grocery haul this week, guys. Please say hi down below. I love to hang out with you and chat with you. Let me know what you're up to these days. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.